Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing 22 things that I learned in 22 years of being alive. Three weeks ago, I think it was, I turned 22. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, things always work themselves out one way or another because nothing lasts forever. And before you know it, you will look back on a situation and be like, oh my God, remember when that was like everything to me? Like that was my main focus and now I'm so over it. So you just can't let yourself get so sucked into it, just remind yourself, okay, this sucks right now, but it's gonna work out. Number two, life will never stop getting exciting. You turn 16, you get your license, and you're like, what do I have to look forward to now? Then you turn 18 and you're legal and you can go see rated R movies. And then you're like, okay. And then 21 hits and you're like, okay, this is the one I've been waiting for. Like, this is super exciting. I can finally drink, go out to bars and have fun. But it's all downhill from here because what else? No, actually, I'm pretty sure you need to be like 23 or 25 to drive a rental car. Number three, time goes by either way. It's up to you how you use it. If you have dreams or goals or things you want to do, do not tomorrow your life away. Don't say, oh, I'll get to it in a week or I'll start doing it later. You, you just got to do it. You got to start somewhere and just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Don't waste the time that we have. Number four is probably one of my favorites. I should have put it as number one, but I didn't. So here we go. Everyone is changing and growing every single day. The way I may be growing and changing won't be coherent with the way you are changing. You know, no one on this earth is exactly the same. So how can you expect to keep the same friends and same level of friendships when you're growing and they're growing and you know, sometimes you grow in different directions. Going along your life and then you find people that, you know, live a life that's pretty parallel to your life and that's kind of what connects you. But for so long you will stay parallel but over time, you know, people evolve and change, which is what we're supposed to do. Yes, you can keep those friendships and you know, you're not as close with one another. That's totally fine. If you want to let somebody go, let them go. Number five, expressing gratitude will always make you feel better. Like whether you're upset or something terrible happens, it could always be worse. Number six, outside of your comfort zone is the best place to be because it's the number one place you are going to learn the most about yourself. So take on new challenges and be willing to change your life. Because if you stay in one place, it's gonna be pretty boring. You gotta try new things just to help you figure out what you do like and what you don't like. Number seven, take the time to change your perspective. It's really important to kind of look at situations from everybody's point of view. It's like a way for you to try to make a more considerate decision. Obviously, you know, at the end of the day, you need to do what you want to do, but you do want to take into consideration other people's perspectives to try to give you a better understanding of, you know, maybe why they're acting a certain way or, why they feel a certain way. Number eight, recognize when fear is the reason you're not doing something. Being afraid is like the biggest thing that holds us back. Like even in everyday life, you can't let fear stop you from doing things. And, and that's truly what stops us from doing things. Just try to go for it and just jump right in. Number 10, when you owe an apology, give it. And when someone asks for your forgiveness, give it. Number 11, no matter how many times you've failed at something, never ever give up. And if you fail again, always try just one more time. Just one more time. Never ever 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 give up. Just keep trying. Always keep trying until you get to where you want to be. Number 12, if you never ask, the answer is always no. So make sure you take risks and just go for it because if you never try, you never know. Number 13, this is one of my favorites. The only way for you to fully, you know, experience like good times and excitement and happiness, you have to go through the everyday like boring aspects of life. Like you don't need to be going a million miles a minute at all times. Like it's okay to have downtime. It's okay to chill because if you didn't have those chill times, then you would never be able to appreciate the exciting and fun times. Number 14, life is a party and you get to choose who is invited to your party. Only surround yourself with people that are gonna lift you up, support your goals, and encourage you and, and be there for you when you wanna throw in the towel. The people that are there for you when you wanna throw in the towel and they're telling you not to, those are your people. Number 15, 
You need to be in control of your own happiness. You cannot be stuck in any sort of relationship that makes you feel like you need another person to make you feel happy or to have a good time. You need to find happiness within yourself. And if you wanna know how to start doing that, you need to spend a lot of time by yourself. That unlocks the doors to an endless amount of happiness. Number 16, be yourself. It doesn't take any effort to be yourself. It's more effort to try to pretend or act a certain way or you know filter who you are. Number 17, always take advantage of your current situation. Sometimes in life we're presented with, you know, situations that are kind of like, damn, this sucks. You need to take a step back and think, well, yeah, maybe this sucks a little bit, but how can I switch it around so that it doesn't suck? How can I take advantage of what's given to me and do something good? It's like making lemons out of lemonade. Number 18, when you're single, that is the best time to be selfish. And it's super, super important to take that time for yourself to grow yourself into a better person. Number 19, crying it out when you need to cry it out will always make you feel better. 20, this is my favorite. There is no such thing as normal. Don't compare yourself or any aspects of your life to anyone else's life or any some sort of fairy tale idea or TV show or movie that you've seen. Things are exactly how they're supposed to be. We all have this idea of normal, but there's no such thing as normal. You do what you wanna do. Number 21, if you wanna change your life, you can. The way to start is by making little, little changes and making a plan on how you're gonna hit your big goal. Number 22, the best is for last. This is actually a quote. It's, it's one of my favorite quotes. Like I'm all about quotes. They just like ignite my soul. You don't have a right to the cards you believe you should have been dealt, but you have an obligation to play the hell out of the ones that you're holding. Life is what it is. You are who you are. You have what you have. Don't worry about what Sally down the road has. It's all about what you have and taking what you have and making magic with what you have. So guys, I hope this is pretty insightful for you. I'm sure I've learned a lot more than just 22 things in 22 years of my life. Don't worry, but these are some of my favorite tips and you know, just like everyday types of things that I like to remind myself of and live by. Like this is just some wisdom from me to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another Fitty Freckles video again. Follow me on Instagram because I post on there like almost every single day and I will see you in my next video.